Before we dive into all of this footage, I want to share with you a little backstory on these wild Mustangs. So I'm going to share some clips from the documentary we created on the wild horse road trip, the grand adventure that brought these soul sisters home. Before we get too far in this wild adventure, I want to share with you just why our family was so willing to load up and trek all the way across the country to bring these two wild souls home. You see, when I was a child, briar horses were my Barbie dolls. My shy, timid heart grew to a place of confidence and security as I imagined up my own wild pony dreams. As I grew older, my heart opened even wider as the Mustang bestowed gifts on our family beyond my wildest dreams. When the day came that my very own wild Mustang partner was immortalized as a Briar model horse, I was overcome with desire to encourage others to love their own dreams into realities. And so I have written children's books, talked to schools, and I'm creating this documentary for you in hopes you will follow your own heart and see that dreams do come true. So to travel across the country and bring these two wild Mustangs home, it seemed like such a small offering for all that the wild horse had gifted my own wild soul. The Bureau of Land Management, known as BLM, manages these wild Mustangs. They determine how many Mustangs the land can support, and they routinely gather excess Mustangs off the range. These Mustangs are brought to holding facilities where they are made available to the public through adoptions. Well, the BLM employees had noticed just how bonded these two were. Out of hundreds of wild horses, these two were always seen side by side. Their tag numbers were even in consecutive order as they had followed one another head to tail through the chutes to receive their freeze brands and vaccines. One BLM employee told me, we think one of the mares might have eyesight issues as she runs around seemingly blind if split from the other. They had even written on their description that they highly recommended that these two be adopted together. Their close bond had apparently started long before they were captured. Thanks to the dedicated wild horse photographers,
these mares were highly photographed in their homeland. The photographer said that as soon as these two came together, they were never again seen apart. If we were going to adopt these two Mustangs, we had to go get them right away. Seeing as we were traveling from the southeast to the northwest across the entire country in February, it was a little intimidating to try to map out every state that we would cross and exactly the route we would take. So we didn't even try it. We just headed in the direction we needed to go, taking it one state at a time. You see, we knew what we needed to do. We knew where we needed to go. We just weren't exactly sure how we were gonna get there. But somehow, we knew that we would. I don't know where I go. I just know I'm here. Take me where I need to grow. Show me that you're near. Cause I believe, oh, I believe. It's the light that is within me. It's the light cast off by you. It's the light surrounding all of us, ever longing to shine through. And off we go. I was so inspired and touched by their connection with one another that when we brought them home, I made a commitment to honor their relationship as I asked to be invited in. Now, this is not intended to be a how-to gentle a wild Mustang video. Um, for me personally, I just couldn't even see creating something like that. The only thing that I have found to be the same about these Mustangs is how different every one of them are. So, this is intended to be an experience. I invite you to see beyond the techniques, beyond the how-to, and join me in an experiential process of feeling into the relationship as it begins between myself and these two wild mares. A disclaimer. If you choose to use anything that you see with your own Mustang, please know these are wild animals and people are unpredictable. So proceed with caution. These are wild animals and humans are unpredictable by nature. Please proceed with caution. Working with and being around horses can be dangerous. The information shared in this video is not intended to substitute for professional hands-on assistance. If you choose to use any of the techniques that you see, you are doing so at your own risk. Mary Miller Jordan assumes no liability for any injury or death that could occur to horse or human. Every horse and every human is unique. What will be best for each horse-human pair will be unique for that individual pair. Please view with an awareness of your own unique point of perspective. 